Hi everybody, it's Diane at California Tea and Herbal. We're inland Southern California and that's a lot different than the beach. It's going to be in the 90s again here today. It'll be into the hundreds east of here in the desert and so we're heading for the beach and it's one of California's best known beach cities, La Jolla. You'll get to see the ocean. We'll stop for some iced coffee at Pete's. We'll see you down there. Let's go. Well, we're filling up here just before here at the Shell in Temecula in Southern California. You can see the beautiful hills that surround Temecula. It's a, known as the wine country of Southern California. From here we head down and we take the freeway down through Fallbrook, Escondido, Rancho Bernardo area. We hit the beach cities and then we will be taking the turn off to La Jolla Village. See you there. We stopped for lunch before heading off to the beach all the way down. We stopped in San Marcos. And San Marcos is about halfway to the beach from where we are. And we stopped at Pan Asia Buffet in San Marcos, right off the freeway, right off the 78 here in Southern California. If you're here, you've got to stop. I found out about this place from a food blogger and it is absolutely delicious. The price is what is it, Vern? About ten dollars. About ten dollars. And look at this absolutely beautiful food and some of the best sweet and sour soup you ever have. Pan Asia Buffet in San Marcos. All right, everybody. We have reached the cove at La Jolla, and you can hear the. We've got seals. We've got uh, seagulls. Everybody's doing their symphony. We got all the tourists because we're at the peak of tourist season, so it's beautiful. It's very active and all the blue sky and the little white caps. You can see Del Mar and quite a ways up the coast from here. And you can see this big, beautiful ice plant that grows on the banks and helps to hold the banks in. So, hope you enjoy this view. We'll have more. We're getting some seagull action. Wait a minute, I'll show you here. Hang on. They're doing a circle. Look, look. Look, 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 look. There it is. I wish you could be here because the breeze is perfect. Probably 70 something breeze and just just a wonderful day just a wonderful day we wanted to make sure you saw the waves coming in so pretty here and you can hear the music as people skateboard by you can see all the tourists coming down and the beautiful line of the palm trees and then the gorgeous old buildings some of them are Spanish colonial just just a beautiful day here. So it looks like the seagulls have a nest here. Vern says he sees a little chick. They certainly do know where to build their houses. Maybe we'll be able to see something if we zoom in. But actually, this is looking back the other way from where we just were. We're in a little gazebo here. And you see the people go right to the edge. It's so much like us as people, isn't it? To push things to the very edge of the cliff. There's some beautiful moss covered rocks down here. But to me, the awesomeness of what God has created is absolutely 
mind-boggling and, and incredible. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name, I thank you for all of this. Lovely. And nobody owns it. It's one big swimming pool for all of us. So this uh, seal is absolutely enjoying this beautiful day. Rolling in the sand and then getting a nice kind of cold bath every 30 seconds or so. Oh, we just met a couple from North Carolina and I had just said to my husband that the southerners are the most wonderful people in the country and sure enough they were right there visiting from North Carolina and it was good to hear they said everyone they've met here has been very nice as well see Californians aren't as bad as, as sometimes we get the reputation for all right, we'll leave him to his bath and his beautiful sunbathing. All right, we are on the other side of the cove and you can see this is an area for swimming. It's more protected, very gentle, no big waves and riptides. And there's a little cavern cave area that people can walk into and through. So this is a fun place if you have a family and you want to swim while you're down here. And that would be the north most part of the cove. Very pretty. Well we found a beautiful place to pull out our folding travel chairs and we are sitting in a gorgeous shaded area here at the beach in La Jolla and it's beautiful green grass all around and we have a big beautiful family here a large amount of people and they're grilling and I tell you I'm glad we ate at that buffet before we found this spot because the smell of the meat grilling is oh it's it's very very tempting and we brought with us a very large thermos of iced vanilla mint rooibos. You can see it gleaming in the sun catching it here. So we are all set. I'll put a link for this delicious vanilla, I'm sorry, citrus mint rooibos. We used to call it vanilla mint because it has a real vanilla taste too. Just delicious. More antioxidants than most tea, no caffeine. So, we will enjoy this beautiful spot and some iced rooibos and the smells and the sounds of an afternoon at the beach. Well, everybody, we had a surprise. We stopped to get our iced coffee at Pete's in La Jolla and it was closed. There was a Phil's coming in the same plaza. So, what a shock. It's been there for years. Instead, we Went through a lot of the little beach cities on our way home and we stopped in Carlsbad at the Naka. Okay everybody, we're back home in the heat and maybe a little bit sunburned and a little bit tired, but what a wonderful day we had down in La Jolla, California. And if you're ever out this way, please make that on a to-do list while you're out here. Next video will be up in a couple of days and it's going to be about caffeine in tea. You know, we had some hot well Vernhead coffee. I really just don't drink it, but Vernhead coffee down at the beach, and it was a medium roast. Now, which do you think has more caffeine? That medium roast, even dark roast coffee, or a cup of really um, strong Assam tea? Well, I'll tell you what. The coffee. By about a third to a half. When you're talking tea, though, are tea types different in how much caffeine they have? And that's the subject of our next video. So we'll see you in a couple days. And until then, thanks for coming along with us. This is Diane from California Tea and Herbal. I'll leave a link for the citrus mint rooibos down in the description. Your kids will love it because there's no caffeine. Absolutely delicious. If you want it sweetened, please use something healthy like raw honey. And we thank you for listening. Bye for now.